Hey guys, my name is Jennifer Almaguer. I was asking God, oh man, like I'm always talking to him. I was asking him, how come some people don't like to obey you? And he said, some people weren't raised with good parents. They were raised with really bad parents. So they have this rebelliousness and this pain and this hurt inside of them that the word obedience makes them feel anger instead and i was like man that's really that that makes a lot of sense and then i thought of well how could i present obedience to the people that hate the word obedience and he said respect just respect me even like everyone on earth wants to be respected so if someone um is like beating you up with their words or looking at you nasty and just scoffing at you would you give them a blessing would you want to give them a blessing would you want them around you would you want to give them a ride give them money have them sit at your table no because you feel disrespected that's the same way God feels like no, I'm not going to give you that blessing until you respect me, until you obey, because it comes from a good place. And I know some of you guys weren't raised with good parents, as I come to realize that, you know, it makes sense why there's rebellion against the word obedience. And um, so, yeah, so just simply replace obedience with respect. And God, like, even if you disrespect God, the really cool thing about God is that he still loves you anyway. He still forgives you for being nasty and ugly to God. He won't be happy and you will pay some consequences because there's always going to be a consequence to your choices, right? And we're constantly choosing. Every single day we are making hundreds to thousands of decisions every day. No one is twisting our arm to burn through our money. No one is uh, twisting or forcing us to have low self-esteem and low self-worth. It's a conscious decision that we make. And sometimes there's so much pollution going on in your head and in your thoughts that you have convinced yourself that you deserve to have low self-esteem, that you deserve that bad thing that happened to you. And the other thing too is, you know, this is a common thing that I hear. Oh, I didn't pray this morning and I didn't spend time with God. And then this bad thing happened to me. I think that that's why. I think that's why that bad thing happened to me. Because I forgot to pray this morning and I forgot to uh, be with God this morning. And that's what I get. That's condemnation. God's not going to punish you because you're lazy or you forgot or you just didn't feel like it or your energy is low or you got distracted it doesn't matter life happens we're not perfect we're not robots there are some people that are real good at consistency like I really appreciate guys more guys are like this than women they're very consistent they're very structured and they will literally eat the same thing every day if they if they can or if that's all there is they have no issue with that they will wake up and do the same thing every day they're like uh you know they're builders guys are structured they're builders and women we're just so emotional and i feel like this and i don't want to do that and we're just like all over the place right so that's why women need men because men it's like we're a wave we're, women are like this right so if we're contained in a box where we can like ooh, be free our free um ever-changing self <laughs> we change our mind all the time we change our outfits all the time never mind i don't want to wear that anymore i don't feel like it anymore all of a sudden that's why sometimes guys like we drive guys crazy like oh my goodness this woman make up your mind woman that's just how we are it's in our nature so that's the beauty of men when you find a stable solid man who is in his element where he's 
you know, not like this. There's some men that are very swayed by their emotions and their mind. And it's just that they have inner work to do. That's it. That's all it is. Uh, it, I'm just bringing clarity here, not putting anyone down or anything like that. But women are not attracted to a guy who's like this. They're attracted to, if I could have my other hand here, I would be drawing, like holding up like a box uh, where we are contained. God made us this way, guys. Like, I'm not like trying to say that, you know, this is, <sighs> we just have to be aware. Women, we just have to be aware that this is in our nature, that we are naturally all over the place. And, um, but the point was about obedience, right? That's why, that, that's how this video got started. And then I went on a tangent here. But um, respect, right? It's just learning who you are and not beating yourself up for making mistakes and for not being perfect. Oh my goodness, we beat ourselves up for not being perfect. And like I said, guys are real, they're much better at this than women. That's their strength as I have observed and how I have seen it. You guys are, men are like, get it done and work 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 and you're in your logic and you're focused and you're not in your emotions so much um doesn't mean that you don't have emotions but you're just built different you feel your emotions at different times and um when you're when you're a healed man especially if you're a healed man you know when to show your vulnerability and you're not easily uh like operating in in reaction mode but you're more responsive like okay this person is really triggering me right now and I'm just gonna be very stern and stoic and just process this before I say something before I behave a certain way before I do anything you know that's a strong stoic man uh, that is in touch with his emotions, but is able to know when to release that emotion, when to express it, how to express it. And women respect that. We need that because we are very bad at it. And uh, we, you know, we will bow down to that. Um, and I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Like, oh man, I had this thought this morning. I love women. I am a woman, but man, sometimes I can't be around too many of them, especially in a room because I just hear like, it's just chaos. It's very chaos. And that's how women are. We're, we are very chaotic and all over the place. And so that's, that's the beauty of, you know, balancing each other out. Uh, you guys really neutralize us women. And I feel that women help men get out of their square out of their boredom out of their like like we bring color right we bring color into it a little bit of chaos is you know but healthy chaos not like toxic chaos my goodness no way um but back to obedience uh, yeah it comes from a good place god wants to bless you god wants to give you all the things that you want all the things that um you strive for and he just can't do it if you're disrespecting him and the growth comes in between when you pray and then you wait on God to answer you and get so busy that you don't even have time to wait you're so in your purpose that you forget that you're waiting for that spouse you're waiting for that relationship you're waiting for that job you're waiting for that check to come in and you're just so lost in your love for God and your respect for God that it, the waiting doesn't even feel like waiting you're just being you are just existing and you're not worried about anything because in Philippians he tells us do not worry about anything do not disobey and disrespect God by worrying and stressing out that is not of God he doesn't want that for you I feel that a little bit of stress is good, but not to the point where you're 
self-condemning and you just like have this negative self-talk a little bit of stress is okay because it gets you out of bed like oh man i better i better get to work and make that money i better you know get to the gym and get healthy again otherwise i'm you know feeling a little stress here that my life's gonna go out of control so there's a healthy uh stress and there's a unhealthy stress a toxic stress and just the way you're able to decipher between is this stress good because we you know we can't be lazy we can't just we can't have everything handed to us we can't i feel like society's making us so weak everyone's so afraid of pain it, everyone's trying to find the easy way out look at how weight loss is just cut my stomach just um and this is not like saying anything negative about people who have health issues that need these type of surgeries it's just like people that don't want to even change their lifestyle they just want to get like the surgeries and the pill and the everything so easy because they're they don't want to go through the pain they don't want to go through the sacrifice and it makes you so weak it makes you like so frail and fragile that when pain does come when hardships do come forward in your life which they will it's just a matter of time you fall apart because you didn't practice your mental grit your emotional intelligence everything was just handed to you you made yourself become weak by <clears throat> taking the quick fix and the quick route uh, same thing with food and nutrition it it takes pain to cook in the kitchen and then clean after yourself and meal prep and all of these things is painful i don't like it honestly i really don't it's so much easier if i just go <clears throat> if i just go to fast food oh thank you guys so much for the coffee as well thank you so so much for the donations on buy me coffee um here's my coffee oh man that touches my heart so much and um man i just hold on all right so a little um, pause there for a second <clears throat> i do personal development i coach people into a personal development but there are some people that god puts in my heart to help and i don't charge 100 percent of every single person that contacts me i just feel it i just know it and those donations really, really help out. Like, it's like God really tells me, hey, don't worry about the money. You need to do my work. You need to go and do what I tell you to do and help that woman. Help that woman. And there are, man, and then the growth that I see, the growth that I see and the people that are physically dwindling away and mentally and spiritually dead they're dying they're like hanging by a thread and we just start talking and and i just start just being their friend and and coaching them and and then to see how they grow even like like a month later it's incredible i see god i see god work through them and um and then sometimes i'm like i hope you realize how much you've changed <laughs> because if and a lot of times we don't see ourselves right we don't see our own change and uh so one of the things that i ask you know everyone that i work with like get a journal you have to have a journal and a pen and if you don't like writing you need to start doing some video diaries and just watch yourself watch yourself talk six months from now even a week or like just give it two weeks watch your old self from two weeks ago and you will see the works of god in you when you stick by his side and you obey and respect god you will see him in you it's so incredible you will see the light in your eyes you will hear it in your voice in fact you will you will actually not see god when you watch your old videos you'll see you'll see the death inside of you that was controlling you and then as you continue to progress then you begin you begin to see the shift that and and the light in you like 
ver video one versus video three and four from like one month to six months you literally are a completely different person mentally emotionally spiritually you have this internal worth now that you don't put up with some of the same things you used to put up with in the past so if you're not able to work with me or you've never worked with a coach guys i always have a mentor i always have a coach a health coach a fitness coach a nutrition coach because like i can figure stuff out on my own but man it'll take me a lot longer but if i can just pick someone's brain that has like 10 years of knowledge and i get it in one conversation that is worth paying for and it will literally shift your life because your thinking shifts it's like king solomon what did he ask he asked for wisdom because if you ask for wisdom you change this and you change your entire life if you ask for a new car okay you're still driving in a new car but your old polluted self is still driving there you're gonna drive you're gonna run into walls you're gonna crash into walls and ruin your car because of this this is what's driving the car the brain you've got to fix your brain you've got to fix your thoughts your mindset your self-worth your self-esteem and it takes it's 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 a process you know and then uh, another thing you know i i was seriously only planning to make like a five minute long video because i have to go i have to go in um, so the other thing too that uh, another common pattern that i see is um the negative mind they're like how do i beat this negative mind how do i defeat this negative mind it's called double-mindedness and it's called doubt and it's going to attack you every single day it still attacks me but i see it coming now and i'm like <sighs> like i move out of the way <laughs> but before i began to obey god and respect god it would just like attach itself to me that negative self-talk and the doubt and the double-mindedness and i would get confused and i would question everything and I would feel like I'm not that worthy and I'm like weird and people might think that I'm weird. But once you start walking strong, righteously with God, you don't care what anybody thinks about you. Guys, I get a lot of hate, especially from men who say women aren't supposed to be teaching. It says in the Bible that we aren't supposed to listen to women. I'm sorry, Christ made me into a woman and I love Christ and I don't care what you say. I love Christ and I'm going to talk about Christ. I'm going to teach about Christ because that's who I work for. That is the opinion that matters to me, not yours. His. Is he proud of me? Does he want me to teach about him? Does he want me to spread the word? Or is he going to say, no, don't do it because you're a woman? Come on. So all these things, all these fiery darts that come your way, don't mean nothing anymore to you you just flick them off it's so easy it becomes so easy when you're walking righteously with the lord and you respect the lord but when you don't respect the lord your self-esteem follows your mind follows your heart is like so deceiving to you okay i hope this video served you i invite you to to follow my youtube channel and um on instagram i started posting like every day the stuff that i do which is i do my planks every morning i write i journal I have my cup of coffee i spend time with the lord i talk to jesus i'm having conversation with them and sometimes it's like a two paragraph long conversation that i write sometimes it's two quotes sometimes it's four pages every day is a different day and just go with it don't judge yourself over it love yourself through it pick yourself up kiss yourself if you fall and you get a boo-boo like you messed up today you messed whatever all right it's cool your father loves you and 
you have to learn how to love yourself too and forgive yourself. All right, I hope this video served you. I will see you in the next one. Adios.